All right, today on Repairs 101, I picked up this 1987 2.9 liter V6 Ford Ranger for 500 bucks. And over the course of the next few episodes, we're gonna tackle some problems. And we'll make this old beater just a little bit sweeter. Today's episode of Repairs 101 was sponsored by Princess Auto. Have a look at princessauto.com and check out their huge assortment of automotive, industrial, and farming tools, equipment, and supplies. A little safety first up. If you've seen enough of my show, you probably know already that I am a firm believer in having spotter mirrors on both sides of all vehicles. Now, I don't know if this is just a Canadian thing or what, but we call them beaters here because when it's snowing out, you know, it sure beats walking. Now, I'm not saying this one doesn't have any problems, but for a 35-year-old vehicle, this thing has very little rust on it. So check it out, it's not the paint that's damaged, it's the clear coat over top of the paint that's been destroyed by ultraviolet light. You probably already know not to take a power washer to any part of your vehicle. So I tried just hosing it off with regular hose pressure and I even tried scraping it off with a razor but the truth is it just digs in and you end up exposing bare metal. So I just powered off what I could with a plexiglass scraper that I made. After that, I started wet sanding. First 400 grit, then 600 grit, then 1000 grit. I accidentally exposed some bare metal by rubbing too aggressively, so I applied some touch-up paint that I had left over from my last pickup truck. Here I wiped the surface down with methyl hydrate to leave a clean and dry surface before I applied the wax. Lay the wax as thick as you dare, just remember the thicker it's laid on, the harder it is to polish off. <laughs> 